think that Amex's share of mind is enough to win the credit cards race. How do you see Amex's competitive position now compared to the past, and who is the most threatening competitor now compared to the past? Yeah, everybody's a competitor, and including now Apple that has just instituted a, a uh, card, I guess, in conjunction with uh, Goldman Sachs. Everybody, there, there will always be, in my view, many, many competitors in the business. Banks can't afford to leave the field. It's a growing field. They build up receivables on it. But I wouldn't think of the credit card business as a one-model business any more than I would think of the car business uh, as essentially being one model. I mean, Ferrari is going to make a lot of money, but they're going to have just a portion of the market. Well, Amex, Amex is growing around the world with individuals, is growing around the world with small businesses. Uh, you just saw the contract they made with Delta, which is probably the ideal partner that runs, uh, what, for eight or nine, whatever it may be, nine or ten years, actually. Uh, it's, you know, the billings go up per capita, they go up, they, the, the coverage spreads, uh, and they're going to have loads of competition, uh, and they always will. Uh, but they had, uh, you know, that, that's something uh, J.P. Morgan, you know, took on the platinum card and the, was a competitor, and the platinum card had uh, highest renewal rates that they've had, and they increased the price, I think, from 450 to $550 during a competitive battle, and retention improved, and new business improved, and 68 percent or so of the new business was was millennials. I mean, it is not an identical product with anything else. And, and as a premium card, it has a clientele which is large. It may only be X percent of the market, maybe three quarters of X percent or whatever it may be. It isn't, it isn't for the person that likes to have five cards and look every day at which one provides the most rewards that day or in what gas stations or something of the sort. But it's got a very large constituency that has a, a renewal rate, a usage rate that's the envy of everybody else in the industry. So I'm, I, uh, I like our American Express position uh, very well, Charlie. Charlie, anything on no. American Express? No, I, I, <laughs> I think we own the world as long as the technology stays the same. Now we. It's an interesting thing. This I have year, no opinion about technology. This year, the technology is not is not the whole thing. I mean, you know, it, 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 fortunately, I mean, it, uh, uh, if you look at credit card usage, uh, there are a lot of different things motivating different people to use different various types of payment systems, and there's a lot of them that are growing. There's some of them that are, uh, that are marginal and. And American Express is an extraordinary operation. And I think this year, our share of the earnings, well, by next year, our share of the earnings of American Express will be equal to the cost of our position. We'll be earning 100 percent on what that position cost us. And I think it will grow. But, uh, and I think the number of shares will go down and our interest will go up without us playing out a dime. So it's. It's a, As you say, we own the world if it doesn't change. Well, even if it changes something. The world has changed a lot. American Express was formed in 1850. No, I'm talking about WeChat. You can talk about, you can talk about all kinds of competitors. But, yeah. <laughs> but the American Express actually was an express company formed in 1850, like I say, by Wells and Fargo, of all people. And, uh, uh, you know, for a while they carried these big trunks around of valuables. And, and then the railroads came along, and that wasn't going to work very well anymore. So they went to the traveler's checks. And, and it's a very interesting thing. In 1950, when I was living at 116th and Broadway, they were down at 65 Broadway. And they were the most important name in travel. They were synonymous with the integrity of their traveler's checks. And the whole company, in a record year for travel, earned $3 million. Three million dollars. What what a bond trader earns now in my lifetime 
that's what they've done with, and they, their hand going in was the traveler's check, which has more or less disappeared, but the power of that brand intelligently used going into the credit card business, where they entered much later than the diners club, later than carte blanche, but they came to dominate the luxury end of the, the credit card business. It's, it's a fantastic story, and, and uh, I'm glad we own 18% of it.